Welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 3. I'm Demon Trigger. And I'm Tauto. And we still haven't completed the game yet, so let's go figure out how to beat the law how to open up the Lost World. What, we're going to Jurassic Park? Yes. Okay. Is this gonna be a dinosaur world? I hope so. Wow, he's angry about that. He's lighting up. Do we ever get to kill these bears or anything? Because they're, I, they've been annoying me ever since I've started watching your videos. Uh, no, you don't get to. Oh. No. Anyway, you gotta circle around the rocks. If that wasn't already blatantly obvious from the. Okay. It's so beautiful. That uh. that is like the most lackluster appearance that I've ever seen. It just rises. It's just a little volcano with a hole in it. Mm -hmm. I was expecting now, like a larger island or something. Yeah. Oh, Blunder won't tell us what to do next, though. Good. What a jerk. I don't like that bear. Well, whatever. Let's go into the volcano. I can barely stand to be around him. Well, it's okay. We got more bears to keep us company, because we can't actually go to the first level yet. Ah, uh, that's just unbearable. Wow. It's a crazy demolitionist guy. It's nice that he has a hard hat. Because, yeah. uh, you know, construction sites and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is where you use the bonus coins. You can't use them anywhere else. And it takes 15 of them to blow up one of those rocks. And the rocks, of course, block the way to the stages. Right. So by doing this, we've opened up the first four stages of the Lost World. Hooray. Which one has the T-Rex? I don't know. Well, this is the Lost World, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, wasn't that, uh, wasn't that movie all about, like, how they were, or how, like, they kidnapped a T-Rex's kid at one point and then tried to eat them or something like that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you haven't watched that movie, have you? No. Oh. Okay. So anyway, we gotta collect more bananas. This is I, not very I, interesting. I hate the birds. They're mm. they're terrible. This one's better because it can shoot things, but the purple one, yeah, I hate it. Yeah. Other than that, there's not much to say because it's just the same mini game over and over forever. Yeah, they. You think they would have had more of like an obstacle course sort of thing, you know, make it to make it through. And get the 15 bananas along the way, or something like that, to change things up. Instead, and then of you have to, get, and then you have to go down the gag slide. Yeah, I mean, you still had 15 seconds left. You had plenty of time to screw that up if you needed to. Mm-hmm. I do like yeah, that there's a second <laughs> barrel there, though. Yeah, that is pretty clever because you wouldn't think unless you notice the uh, no spider sign, and you're like, hmm. Right. Uh, not the only obstacle here is just the pit. Right. But we get to play with the spider, which is the best animal buddy in the game. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's in forever. We miss you, Rambi. This Rambi was a pretty cool dude. Right. I just charge through the levels and not give a fuck. Um, I never played Donkey Kong Country Returns. What animal buddies show up in that? Uh, it's just... I think it's just Rambi, and you can buy Squawks as an item, uh -huh. who can find puzzle pieces. But yeah, this level. I hate this level so much, and you'll see why. That was a beautiful jump cut, by the way. Yes. Because <laughs> I wanted to show this level in all its glory, and also this bird. Because remember, Ellie is scared of rats, so... Yeah. I do like the fact that they make you combine the two animal puppies together, though. That's a nice touch. Mm-hmm. This level is completely obnoxious, because it's basically just like the toboggan levels, only I think it moves even faster than the others. Probably. Yeah. That also trying really to keep the no point. Yeah. Also trying to keep the bird alive is really hard too because some of those uh, bees are placed just above to where you think that, to where you think you you have to like jump over them, but you don't really have to. Right. And some of them are right in the way, so it's it's pretty tricky to dodge them and also dodge the things that will actually kill you. Yeah, but that last green bee, it looked like the way the enemies on the ground were laid out. As long as you dodge the enemies on the ground, the bee, the bird would actually dodge just fine. Mm -hmm. and, and of course the bird turns into the bonus barrel. And uh. th this is something I don't get. They have you get rid of the bird and then they immediately give it back to you. Well, that, that's just so you can, uh, you have can prove bonus, that you got yeah, the... Yeah. 
But it would have... I, I don't know, it just... I can understand why they did it, because they wanted to make sure that you actually accomplished what they were trying to have you do, but mm -hmm. they just don't like it. I mean, it's it seems like you got rid of the bird for absolutely no reason. Yeah. And this is really boring, if you manage to fuck up and get the bird killed, you uh, lose and you have to start the level over again to get it. Wonderful. Yes. This is very terrible, I hate this level so much because of that. Right. And now you don't have it to do anything with the bird anymore. Mm-hmm. And there's also this, but this is so ridiculously easy that it's not that much of an issue. Yeah, you think with the secret world that the guys that are holding the shields up, they'd be a little bit more of a challenge than that, because that's just the same thing we've seen 50 times already. Mm -hmm. It's just throw it behind it. Yep. It's unfortunate, but, yeah. you know. So anyway, this level's kind of fun because shoot, you get to bounce off steel barrels all the way up the cliff. If you want a vision of the future, imagine a monkey jumping on a steel barrel forever. <laughs> wow. So yeah, this is an, <laughs> yet another, uh, it's like the, on <laughs> the only fucking uh, bonus that has come up in this entire video so far. Right. Also, if you haven't noticed, there's only two places for the fucking banana to spawn, so it just spawns on you several times. I do like the part where, you know, you're just sort of standing there waiting for your right time. It's like, it's not even a challenge here, it's just get over there and whenever you can, and then ones will spawn underneath you to be able to make up for the ones you're missing out on. Yeah. It, it feels like there's no pressure at all on any of the ones we've seen so far. It's mm -hmm. kind of disappointing for this late into the game. Yeah. Anyway, we got the, the switch barrels to switch it to uh, TNT to, bl to remove uh, those red bees. Right. But even then, it sometimes isn't even necessary. Like over here, we could just... Skip it entirely. Just... Yeah. Apparently that bee just ceased to exist on its own. Mm-hmm. Now this is actually kind of clever because it's basically a forced change and then you have to... Make get your way back the... around. Mm-hmm. While, while the... Uh, the thing that you were using to climb has become an obstacle to avoid. Right. I think it's pretty clever. Yeah. See, I, I like this design, it's just... I, I don't mind this level. This level actually looks unique. It looks... well, not unique, but it looks a lot better than some of the other levels that we'll see in this world because there's a lot more of a unique design to it rather than uh, just the same sort of puzzles we've seen over and over again. Mm-hmm. At least we get to see those guys again. Right. Not that I particularly miss them, but you know. Oh, you know you did. <laughs> you know you you think every day about how you love those TNT barrel things. Because, of course. Because that's the best part of playing this game. Clearly. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the only time I've actually used the uh, team throw for offensive means, and then I managed to fuck it up right there. You just murdered a Kong. Yes, I did. I hope you feel bad about this. I tossed her to her death, yep. and yes, I feel sorry. And you switched these barrels for absolutely no reason at all. You could have just skipped it like you did before. Well, actually, no, because what I'm trying to do here is there's something hidden right over here. Oh, so there is. Oh, it's yes. the shield guy. It's this guy again. <laughs> it's the exact same way to defeat him. That switch, though, that switch makes absolutely no sense. The one that was... Uh, in the room with the guy with the shield. I guess that's uh, if you decide to tank the hit with the TNT barrel to get down there. Yeah, sure. I don't know. At least this isn't a collect all the green bananas challenge. Right. I don't know, the I challenges like they... in this world don't really seem that complicated so far. Not really. It, the bonuses never really get difficult, right. I guess. I don't really know. Well, I mean, it's not necessarily difficult that you would need in it. I'm just thinking, even if it was just more of a time challenge, you know, more, you know, cut 10 seconds off of that last puzzle and you would have made it out with, what, two seconds left? That would have been a lot more of a challenge than doing it otherwise. Yeah. And I don't know why the barrels didn't spawn. Oh, there they are. It's because the bee was in the way, clearly. Well, no, because the switch also didn't do anything, which was weird. But now it works properly. These work in mysterious ways. Mm-hmm. So 
so you gotta go. You dodge that guy so you can get the thing killed, and then you gotta go up here and do it again and then fuck up. Yeah, she really is the better Kong out of them. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm gonna go hurt myself to get some more extra lives, because as I... I haven't mentioned it yet, but when you beat uh, K. Rulenstein the first time, the game resets, which means you lose all your extra lives. Great. So nice. You don't lose... You don't actually lose the bear coins, though, unlike the uh, second game. You get to keep the bear coins. Well, well yeah, because you need them for this, right? Uh, or, no, no, because I'm sorry, you... I was thinking the other coins. No, I'm talking about the bear ones, which you use to get the 60-coin mirror. Right, right, right. Which is why I'm sure they didn't uh, make them go away. Are these guys supposed to be frogs? I don't know. I don't know why they leapfrog everywhere. Cause... All I know is they only show up in this world, even though they showed up in the the um, credit screen. Because if they if they are supposed to be frogs, those are the ugliest fucking frogs they've ever made. I, I I think they're supposed to be crocodile things, but I don't know what they exactly are. But whatever. It doesn't care because it's spider time now. Yep. And we also get to murder these guys. I guess you don't need they... those silver coins anymore. Mhm. Mm they also have the weirdest death scream. It's all echoey and everything. Also, there's no point going up here because there's nothing special other than uh, more coins and bananas. Right, but at this point, you really don't need those. Nope. Well, the bananas for extra lives if you need them, I guess. Yeah. I guess if you haven't been collecting bear coins and still need the 50, 60, whatever to get the all the side stuff. Mm hmm. But other than that, they're pretty much useless. And this is actually a good, uh... Yeah, I like this one. This one is definitely a lot better than just mm -hmm. throw it over their head. Yeah, it actually works really well, and I think it's clever. Right. Now this would be hard, except for the fact that we're squitters, so we could just kill those two guys. That, and you could just create platforms if you needed to anyways. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Squitter pretty much makes this a non-issue. Yeah, I mean, again, take five seconds off of there, you have a lot more of a challenge. Yeah, but I think I think the idea is that you can also get up there as the Kongs. True, true. I don't know. Oh, they turned into those uh, guys from Mario, or from Super Mario World. Where they just oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, those guys. Those guys were the weirdest, because they threw, like... Footballs and baseballs for no reason. And they also had, like, shovels, and there was other guys that split into three, and... Right. Uh, it's just really weird. No, oh, and I just got Goomba stomped. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Those guys kind of look like the Goombas from the Super Mario movie. Oh god, don't remind me of the Super Mario movie. Apparently a lot of people think that it's good, and it's it's not. Or at least I don't... I, would, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's not great. Yeah, it, it's just really bizarre, I guess. I don't know. Well, I mean, like, you have Goombas in there, but they look really weird. And... Yeah. I don't know. When I was thinking... Or when, I was, when I was about to see it the first time, I was thinking that it would be something more along the lines of the games themselves. You know, looking more in tune with that, rather than something completely bizarre. I remember Yoshi looking oh, <laughs> completely horrible. Yeah. For some reason. I, I haven't watched the movie in 15, 20 years, but still. Yeah. It's like, oh, how could you not how could you not recognize this thing as Yoshi? Right. Or how could you not recognize these Goombas? Well, I mean, Yoshi kind of looked like Yoshi, but the Goombas did not. Exactly. And what was that what would have happened if we went up before? Uh, I think it's just more bonus stuff. Like, it would have had, like, bananas and or uh, bonus coins. Nothing special, then. Not, not really. And that girl took a page out of Sonic the Hedgehog's book of just putting rings there, just so then you know that that's where you're supposed to go. Mm-hmm. It would also be really annoying if you just ran right for the flagpole and then you grab onto it just to see the lone banana by itself. Yeah. And realize you just missed something. Other than that, though, this is kind of eh. Because you're kind of just doing the same thing back and forth over and over again. Yeah, there's no challenge in this at all. Mm -hmm. The only thing that really that really decides how long it takes is whether the RNG wants to work in your favor or not. Other than that, it's just kind of pointless. Also, I forgot to mention that 
that while every other stage in this game has two uh, two bonuses in it, some of these stages in the Lost World have three. Really? Yeah. Which is weird, and I don't know. Oh wait, I know exactly why, but. Mm. Well, probably just because they had to fit enough of them in. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're in a forest now, and we get to see those uh those bird things that showed up in like one level of the rest of the game. And they're basically all here. All right. You mean the, the turkeys, right? No, I, was, I, I, was I, not... I know, I know. I was joking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, these ones that just sort of impale themselves on the tree. Mm-hmm. And it's weird, too. I didn't even notice this, but those the ones that impale themselves on the tree don't hurt you. Really? Only the ones that are swooping around do. Huh. Didn't know that. It's weird. Yeah, you see, you can... You can have them just pass right through you and it doesn't do anything. Yeah. So I guess this makes you get rid of the bird, or you just go back to being the bird? You just go back to being the bird, oh. it doesn't... Oh, because it just sucks you out in the barrel again, got it. Yeah, because there's no way you can get through the rest of this level without it. Right, right. Because it's all ascending really high and stuff. Well, you know, you just have to throw your partner really high. <laughs> that's, that's a skill you've learned, right? Yes. Throw your partner to the stars. Yep. So now we gotta go past this, uh, these randomly appearing birds. <laughs> I like how the camera wasn't locked there, so you could see that they just spawn into existence. Right. Just sort of appear out of nowhere. Mm hmm What was that bee guarding? Uh, he's actually guarding the proper way through the rest of the level, but you can go this way and get the bonus barrel. Got it. Also, getting past those uh, that part without getting hit is hard because the door blocks your eggs. And it's also really hard to shoot them in the first place, so... I've been meaning to ask, how is it that he's shooting eggs out his mouth? I don't know. And they may or may not even actually be eggs. They might be anything. Because if that's eggs that are being shot out of the mouth, that's a really weird bird reproductive system. I guess. Or maybe it just maybe it just eats a bunch of coconuts and then it just hates them to attack them. I don't know, that seems like it would be very painful. Well, I mean, it's, it's the animal buddy we don't care about, so it's fine. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense then. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we also have to take this alternate path to get the DK coin. Right. Oh no, you have to stand on top of him this time. Oh, wait. We haven't seen that 20 times before. And, and now the, the rest of the meets up. Yep, the other path would have been from below, right, right there. Right where the bee was. Mhm. Mm so yeah, the rest of the level is actually going on foot, and I think, I think it works to have the level divided in half like that. Because then you have to deal with the same obstacles differently. Right. I guess. And also fall all the way down the tree. Because you're an idiot who doesn't know how to jump. Well, I mean, it's Kitty's fault. Yeah, of course. <laughs> he needs he needs to learn how to jump better. So yeah, and this is actually the last bonus barrel in the game. Good. And it goes out with the... Uh, whatever. Really? <laughs> really, that's yeah. all we have to do? Yeah, you have to just team throw. And you get the coin. See, again, five, five less seconds, and that would have been a lot more challenging. Mm-hmm. They gave you way too many, or way too much time, considering that this is the last world. Yeah. Or maybe they just weren't expecting me to be super pro. That too. I do like that little bird gauntlet, though. Yeah. <laughs> the stairway of birds. Also, this part is really annoying, because... In order to bounce across properly, you have to time it really well, and I don't like that, so I just do it the easy way. Yeah, seems seems like that's what I would have done in the first place, rather than relying on the birds. Mm -hmm. Also, you can't roll into the birds because they have sharp beaks and will kill you. Right. Also, I took forever doing nothing there, so I just took the easy way out. But see, it, you would have been able to get through that bird just fine if it hadn't tried to impale you. So yeah, I've neglected to mention, but we've been collecting cogs from beating each of the levels. 
So now we're actually going to take them back for the moment since we can't continue. Oh boy. Mysterious box. See, that, that's what I do. That's what I do whenever I find any cogs or any piece of equipment, really. I just start attaching it to other things that I found that I have no use for and seeing if they'll magically work. Well, yeah, I mean, like, haven't you ever used, like, a sword pen gun? Yes, I, I use a sword pen gun every day. Hmm. So you have to have all of the bonus coins to unlock the last level, which means getting all of the ones from, uh, from the Lost World. Right. Which is why it, they made it 25, I guess, because it's an even number. Right. Except it's not an even number, it's just a... I don't know what you would call it, a round number or something? I don't well, know. it's... You can't. You still had, like, 14 left when you went into these worlds. And they couldn't just have only one bonus stage, so they had to fill up space otherwise. They could have mm -hmm. done 20, though. That would have made a lot more sense. I guess. Anyway, this level... This level actually has its own theme, which is kind of weird. So yeah, you get a rocket and it has fuel. Uh, that, the weird thing is that activating, like pushing left, make, activates the left thruster, which moves you to the right. Yeah, makes sense. So it's tech. It makes sense, but it's also still backwards controls. But I think it works better in this context than it does in the other one. I, I honestly Where, like this level. It's it's something that they, I wish that they would have utilized more rather than just just this one time because. Mm -hmm. It's a cool mechanic that you don't see anywhere else. Yeah, if you would, if they would have had like a couple more uh, places in like the other worlds where that you could have did this, it would have been right. You know, cut down on the fifteen banana challenges for no reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see it working as a bonus thing. So yeah, this last part is really hard though, because that is all the fuel you get, and you have to make it all the way to the top of this cliff. So basically, if you end up bumping into the ceilings, like, maybe, like, two or three times, you're not gonna make it. Right. It is really challenging. But it is still, uh, I still think it's a good level. And you clip through that wall there. I don't And know. that one. Well, that's be I don't know, I guess it's not completely, it's just the corners yeah. aren't solid or something. Hitboxes are not where they look like they should be. See, they made, they should have made you land on that guy, and you missed. Yeah. I actually cut out me missing several times because I'm terrible. Yeah. They should have made you, like, land on that guy or, you know, something where the rocket ship turned into a steel barrel and then it, it dropped and rolled or something like that. That would have been a cool touch. You know, tie the whole <laughs> levels together, but... Mm-hmm. Eh, still. Well, now that we got our other random cog, let's just jam it on this machine and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this this is how technology works. You know, you just grab a toaster, and you just start jamming cogs into it, and I'm sure that will work. All you kids at home, go try that. <laughs> will it turn into, like, a super toaster that will, like... Yes. Ah. Yeah, it, it'll, you'll create your own time machine. And then, <laughs> and then you can attach cogs to your radiator. No, it's not a pipe microwave. Don't even. Okay. Well, you can attach cogs to your, micro to your radiator and apparently have given enough sacrifices to some eldritch horror that the water turns to blood for no reason. Um, okay. Well, I mean, the water turned red. Yeah. And also there's that submarine from the GBA game, so let's go check out what's inside. Yeah. Oh, it's just you. Okay, how is this going to work? Like, what exactly was he planning to do in a submarine of the bottom of a lake in a volcano? Oh, he was going to, you know, do, do that. Ah. Uh, yeah. Of yeah. course. Uh, he, he was gonna he was gonna blow up the volcano and make it erupt so that I, I don't know where I'm going with this to be honest. Well, that's awfully cruel of him. Yeah. On honestly, this boss fight is pretty bad because you're just standing there. Yeah. He wasn't even, like, like, if you just stand in the center, it wouldn't even hit you in the first place. Yeah. And then he just gets angry and comes to get hit in the face some more. Or in the propeller, because that's where you have to hit him this time. Right. Well, that, isn't that where you had to hit him last time, too? Yeah, but it, but the last time it was more in, like, that backpack thing. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas this time you're actually aiming for the propeller. 
I don't know why it's different, but okay. I mean, I, I'm so, I'm sorry. I, I know you like the game and all, but this is like the dumbest boss fight I've ever seen. Mm. Because there's absolutely no challenge to it. Again, this is the this is the secret world. This is you know something that should be especially difficult compared to the rest of the game and. All you're doing is just standing in place and then throwing a barrel every once in a while. Oh no, it has you moving to the side. That's slightly <laughs> more difficult, but really it's... I mean, It's just more annoying. The, the, really. the, the, whatever the hell he's shooting at you, it has the same pattern every time. It's either from left to right or right to left. It's, it's not mm -hmm. hard to dodge. That's a slightly tricky, though. Yeah, this one... Yeah, that, that I like better, but just the first part of the boss fight, no. It's just terrible. Mm-hmm. And it's actually clever how you have to use the barrel as a shield. Right. And you have to be careful because if you, uh... If you get if you use the barrel, like, if you get rid of it bef when the lightning starts, then you have nothing to protect you with. Right. Well, that's why you have two Kongs anyway, so... Mm-hmm. Not that I need two Kongs. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, we'll see. I guess. I guess. Oh no, the floor is moving again! Devious. And also, good. Something you gotta watch out for is make sure not to run because the run button is also the pickup barrels button. Right, which it'll means you're gonna. By accident. Mm -hmm. And now he. What the fuck is he doing? He, he grabbed onto the steering wheel and then he started spinning around. You know, that's how you turn the ship. You don't just spin the wheel, you have to turn with it. I guess that so. That's how ships work. Indeed. So next time, we'll get the actual, actual ending. So, see you then. See ya.